Hello, I'm Kenny, and uh, this is my friend Michael Parletta. This is a special edition of Talking Ash. Um, <laughs> Tommy is not aware of it yet, but... He'll find out. <laughs> he's going to find out, but he's been replaced, right? <laughs> we upgraded him a little bit. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So today we just want to talk to you a little bit about um, uh, a promotion that we've been doing at all of our stores. It's called Coffee with Kenny. Uh, Kenny Dudek, an employee of ours, uh, works mainly at our Tillman Street uh, store in Allentown, uh, but he's going to be on the road. Uh, on Fridays. On Fridays. Mm -hmm. He's going to be visiting uh, just about every one of our shops and, uh, you know, stop in, have some coffee on us, and, and enjoy some good conversation. So Kenny will tell you a little bit about what you've been doing and which mm -hmm. stores you've been to. And Okay, I've been, uh, I've been to um, St. Clair, Cold Creek as we call it. Uh, and I've been to, so far, um, Hometown, which is right on 309, and uh, 54, I believe, right? Yep, right in the corner of Route 54 and 309 in the Tamaqua. And I'm not sure where I am next week, but uh, we're gonna visit, just uh, you know, on our uh, Cigar Box Facebook, you'll see where we are every Friday. We uh, try to get uh, coffee from a local vendor, usually Dunkin' Donuts, but today we're featuring coffee from Nowhere Coffee, which is right around the corner, like 50 steps yep. from us, and they've supplied the coffee and... Uh, new coffee, a uh, new store recently opened. Mm -hmm. um, great coffee, they've got some breakfast sandwiches, some, mm -hmm. you know, some breakfast items. Um, they've been doing a phenomenal job, and, uh, you know, we're getting a lot of great feedback mm -hmm. from customers, and, you know, our customers are going there, their customers are coming here. Everybody it's, likes coffee it's and been cigar. Great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I'm smoking today uh, an Undercrown Pequeno Maduro. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, almost done, but what do you got going on today? I have a, uh, um, an Upman Heritage blend. Uh, it's a Maduro, but it's very mild and flavorful. It's not strong at all. Yeah. Um, I, I bought a box of these off of you. Yeah. I like that's one so of your much. fan favorites. Oh, yes. <laughs> and now, now that's actually blended by A.J. Fernandez. Right. Right. Uh, really, really nice, flavorful cigar. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, you know, for me... I, I smoke quite a bit of those. I like that in the Corona size. Um, and it actually, you know, it starts off with a little bit of a punch, maybe your first third, and it just smooths it out sure, really, really nice. Yeah. Now, we were talking a little bit earlier, you're smoking a torpedo. Right. Right. And the uh, way you cut it. So we talked about the different ways to cut a cigar. Mm -hmm. like, like a Corona, you know, it, it's kind of hard to punch, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you could V-cut it, but I like a straight cut. You get more surface area. One of the things I was talking to Kenny about is if you're smoking a torpedo, this cut the torpedo. A tor it's not a torpedo. You could cut the torpedo on an angle, right? So by cutting the cigar on an angle, you're going to give yourself more surface area and a better draw. Um, those are some of the things you know that we like to talk about, especially if you're going to come in, hang out with Kenny, have a coffee. You know how to light a cigar, how to cut a cigar the pace at which you should smoke a cigar, all these little tidbits that, you know, we, we found out that I'm talking to guys that have smoked cigars for 30 years and, and didn't think that it actually matters, but it does. It certainly does. Yeah. Um, there's two cigars I'd like to talk about. This is by the Newman Company and uh, customer. <laughs> Welcome. Um, these are Cigar Welcome. One. It's okay, I've been here before. <laughs> This is Cigar One, uh, it's made by Newman, and what's nice about them is they're self-sealed. You can keep these in your vehicle, they'll stay fresh. There's even a small Humi pack inside. There's the Rosé, and then there's the Cream. But the Cream, don't let it uh, fool you. It's a, it's a dark cigar, but it's very similar to the one I'm smoking now. It's very uh, mild and flavorful, which is what I always look for, something that has a lot of flavor, but not overly strong. So these are good ones. They're gonna be featured all year round. Them right over here. I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. So yeah. Michael's gonna return. We're happy. This is a live business, folks. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, we're gonna have our customer come in, but we would have to pay them. You know, because <laughs> we're getting paid big bucks for this podcast. Um, but no, I just want to thank you guys for for joining us and watching us uh, regularly. And uh, I enjoyed talking a little bit today about what Coffee with Kenny is all about. And stop in, come see Kenny. Follow on our Facebook page. Right. You'll you'll find out where he's gonna be. And uh, you know, come on in, have some great conversation, cigars and great coffee. Thank you. Have a good good weekend. <laughs>